So just a quick update. Um, Bruce is in town this week doing a push hands intensive at Brookline Tai Chi. And I'm pretty excited about it. This is going to be part of the Tai Chi Mastery Program. And if you've um, seen some of the other updates over last summer, I was out in England when he was doing a month-long um, short-form instructor training that's going to make up the core of that program. So we did a month just on form work and developing the body through the short form and all that stuff. And now we're working on the push hands component. So this, what he's putting together is going to be a pretty massive resource, which is awesome. And it's even cooler to be at the live trainings. So for that, I'm very excited and I'm, I'm glad we're doing it at Brookline Tai Chi. But what's so fascinating about seeing the way he's teaching push hands and having experienced the progression that he taught through the form work and the body development stuff is that they fit together so nicely. I have to use my hands for this. <laughs> they fit together like complete interlocking pieces. It's not as if there's a gap between what you do when you're practicing by yourself and what you do when you um, start to engage, engage and interact with other people. And I think most people don't realize that when they think about Tai Chi. Yesterday I was talking to one of our senior instructors, Jamie Dibden, who's showing our Brookline Tai Chi students some of the basics of push hands while, while he's here. And Jamie was describing the story of when he first learned pushing hands. He said literally for like three or four years, his first teacher would just throw him around the room and he would bang him off the walls again and again and again and again until he figured, Jamie figured out what to do. And that's not at all how we're approaching it here. This was like, get, in th get thrown in the deep end and see if you swim. <laughs> and maybe you don't. I, I mean, I can't imagine the success rate on that method is very high. So Jamie was saying, look, you guys don't appreciate how awesome it is to have Bruce break it down like this, piece by piece by piece. And I know Jamie tries to teach that way too, when he does it. But, so, so you've got two things, right? You've got this very incremental approach learn how the weight goes here, how to sink here, how to shift here, how to connect and move with somebody in a way that doesn't bind you up, very incrementally, piece by piece by piece. And then you've got it dovetailing perfectly with what we already practice and what we already learn. So, so getting this roadmap from Bruce about how to build up a push hands practice very systematically in a way that's a natural outgrowth, a natural extension of your, your own solo practice is a real treat very cool stuff so look forward for look for more of these updates i will tell you how the whole week goes and then uh, start talking a little bit about what it's like for this whole program to come together because i think it's going to be an amazing opportunity to get access to information that again you know from being on this site on this blog it's not just hand waving and um, here's access to some pretty high level stuff some pretty great information so stay tuned <laughs>